Hello world from us at Radically New Life. So far in the Kingdom of God series, we have discussed what Jesus taught about the Kingdom of God, salvation, citizenship, war, and economics. In this sixth video of the series, we will talk about how God's Kingdom will bring equality between all citizens of heaven. The Apostle Paul wrote, There is neither Jew nor Greek, slave nor free, male nor female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. Here, Paul touches on race, class, and gender, still very relevant topics today. The Kingdom of God turns the existing world orders and hierarchies upside down. For example, when you look to the first world, who do you find being served? Those who are considered to be the greatest, that is, the rich and respectable. It is the epitome of success in the first world to have other people do things for you. But Jesus says the exact opposite. The greatest are those who serve others, not the ones being served. Therefore, by humbling ourselves to Christ's teachings and serving others in his name and example, all Christians become one in loving servanthood. By serving others, we can follow Christ's teaching to love one another as he loves us. Another way that we can practically love each other is by sharing all resources with brothers and sisters in community, just like the early Christians. When we follow Jesus' teaching to forsake all personal possessions, as we have shared in many of our previous videos, then material wealth and any other worldly privileges or disadvantages our social position may bring us become irrelevant, since each person is regarded to be just as valuable as the next. In this model of sharing, everyone has claimed to what they need without taking from another's needs, so that there were no needy people among the first Christians. God's love for us is so great that although his children are unique, he loves one child just as much as another. A great example of God's love for all, no matter their social status, is how Jesus treated and interacted with women. In a time when women were considered less than human, Jesus traveled with women, which was extremely scandalous, and he had mercy on an unclean, aka menstruating woman, by commending her faith, even though she had touched him without his permission, also completely against the social norms of first century Judaism. This shows how God loves all his children equally, no matter what social status they hold in their earthly lives. We must practice this kind of total love toward our brothers and sisters, so that others will know that we are true Christians obeying our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Of course, we are all flawed and broken humans, and sometimes this can make it difficult for us to love and forgive one another. And sometimes it is even hard to love and forgive ourselves. But we will be forgiven of our sins as we forgive others' sins. And always remember, God still loves you. When we become citizens of heaven in God's kingdom by following Jesus' divine example and teachings, then the shackles of our earthly life are released and all the children of God become equal in their eternal life. In our next video in the Kingdom of God series, we will show how the Kingdom of God will solve the growing environmental crisis by applying Jesus' teaching to love your neighbor as yourself to all our neighbors, plants, animals, and all. Thank you for watching the sixth Kingdom of God video. If you have any thoughts you would like to share with us, please email us at the address listed in the description below. See you next time.